Hey guys, today we're going to obtain a 5 million absorb shield to turn the true raid boss. How much shield do I have? How big shield? I have 4.4 million. Oh Fucking my God. what? <laughs> Jesus Christ. There he is. Oh There's God. the boy. I can need Lobby first. No. Wait, it's not Lobby, it's a 60 watt. Got one. Still okay, guys, so How much is it going down even? Uh, uh, yeah, it's going you're down. Not, you're, not, you're not below 4 mil yet. Now you are. Got so many bots on you. I'm gonna try to purify as much as I can. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually You've got for... like 8, 9, 10 people on you. Yeah. Good I actually go. think it's gonna run out of time, time before, before yeah. the shield dies. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> more people are here. It's going down a bit quicker now. They're like, what? The lobby. Touch of death. Oh, it's a high guy. Uh, nice <laughs> <little bit. laughs> I see everyone who looks like a lobby in a low health because I don't expect to kill things. The spam spinning crane kick and kick spam. Yeah, it's been taken. I'm I don't enough. think it's gonna break. No, know. it's not. You still got two mil. For nine seconds. You'll pop <laughs> as soon as that goes, though. No, I'm gonna make it over again. Here we go, moment of truth. I'm so tanky, yeah, don't worry. Look, I'm alive. <laughs> <laughs> oh! alive. Bro. Oh, you've got that one. God damn. <laughs> oh my god. Uh, what are they saying? Are you saying, like, what the hell's alive? The fuck was that bullshit? <laughs> 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 As you might have noticed, the shield I'm using is Fleshcraft. However, there are a few tricks you have to do in order for this to go from an 80k shield into the millions. The main thing we're using to boost this is a set bonus for Brewmaster that makes you get additional health depending on how hard your keg smash hits. Already now, you might be thinking, how about hitting a low bit target for millions, such as the Toads? Well, that won't work. It seemed to have worked back during PTR, at least according to this Wowhead article. However, currently on live, the damage boost you get against low level targets is not added to the buff. But you too, that's even less this time. With that said, any other damage boost will work to increase the set bonus, such as increasing your gear, getting a crit on quick smash, or maybe obtaining the legendary that increases the damage done. With this knowledge, I set out to find one of the biggest damage sources available, and that was in the Throne of Tides instance, a place I visited many times before. During the Neptulon encounter, we obtained a 2000 damage boost, 500 health boost, and a 400 healing boost. You can see here that my Kegot the Heavens buff is giving me more than a million health. And this additional HP will also be boosted by the 500% buff that is granted to us. So with double dips, causing us to obtain, well, about 7 million health. And that is with only 239 eye level. After using stamina cooldowns, Flash Craft will then end up between 4 to 5 million absorb, depending on how many crits I got during the stacking process. After obtaining the shield, I accepted a summon to Durotar, and then jumped into battle. Good news is that the Fleshcraft Absorb will stay through the loading screens, and won't disappear after losing your force set or the Neptulon buff. So for a whole 2 minutes, I'll be pretty much invincible, since Horde cannot dispel the shield. And I doubt they'll be able to break it before the time runs out.
I did think of using the massive health boost in the Throne of Tides instance to one-shot a raid boss by transferring some health-based damage source. But sadly, the force bonus won't persist through summonings. There was one issue I came across, during the stacking of the shield, before I was able to accept the summon. And that was, that I was stuck in combat for a very long time. I lost pretty much 30 seconds of the flesh crowd buff, before I even reached the horde. I'm out of combat, please fast. Oh, he's coming out for ages, <laughs> he's roleplaying for... I'm losing my buff! Oh, it's taking extra like 15 seconds. I'm still in combat. It's awesome, my guys, literally. Oh, that's 10 seconds. I'm still in combat. I'm gonna lose my whole body. It's gonna take two minutes, guys. I'm gonna be sucking cold for some reason. I tried to solve this with a precious blood torn loop. But I kind of forgot that that also scales with the damage boost. So I end up one shotting myself. <laughs> Wait, what? <I> <laughs> we got actually immediately decimated. I uh, think I, the need just died. I, di I died inside the instance. Oh, I forgot the freaking things. Take, you, know, you know the ring that kills me? Oh, no. It scales too. <laughs> oh. Ring a Torrance get 10 million damage on me and I kinda killed myself. Uh, <laughs> you guys give me one more sum. Oh, that's funny. That's horrible. After improving my timing, I managed to get out of combat quickly and headed to face a horde with a 4.4 million shield to finally survive longer than 2 minutes. However, this was during the time of the day when Durtor was filled with 30 plus people. So let's see how that goes. Well, it appears that the Horde of Durtar managed to break the shield in the span of 70 seconds, and that was against a staggering monk tank. My total damage taken before defensives was 7.3 million, and the HPS provided by Fleshcraft was 55k. Perhaps the Horde aren't so weak after all. Thank you all for watching, and stay tuned for more.